This was the moment one of the killers responsible for what prosecutors called an orgy of bloodletting was finally arrested. Daniel Sonex, along with Nigel Farmer, have been jailed for life after killing two French students last June. Gabriel Ferrez and Laurent Bonomo were tied up and stabbed more than 240 times. Sonex and Farmer will serve a minimum of 40 and 35 years respectively, but they were spared imprisonment for the rest of their lives because of their young ages. Il y a une sentence qui a annoncé 35 et 40 ans. That's why there was a sentence of 35 and 40 years. Je les vois en pleine santé. I see them uh, very healthy. Et on attendait qu'il y ait un verdict plus sévère. And we were hoping for a more severe sentence. Je pense pas que ces gens-là doivent ressortir. I think that those people should never get out. La mort d'un enfant. A child's death. La mort d'un enfant est un est, est une perte qu'aucun parent ne devrait avoir à subir. Is a loss that no parents should have to suffer and go through. Alors vous imaginez dans la barbarie, la torture, let alone l'horreur in this horrific and torturous manner. Both killers had been drinking heavily and were high on cocaine, ecstasy and marijuana when they broke into the students' apartment. The victims were made to hand over bank cards before being repeatedly stabbed. A sadistic killing that shocked even investigators. When I first went to the scene, it was just a scene of absolute horror. Uh, the attack itself must have lasted for some considerable time. There was blood uh, distributed across the walls, the ceiling and large amounts on the bed and floor. The apartment was later torched. Britain's Justice Secretary has apologised in person to the students' families after it emerged that Sonex was on probation at the time and London's top probation officer has resigned. But it's all little solace to the relatives now facing a future without Gabrielle and Laurent.